The big story at the moment is the Delta variant. Several studies being done. What are you learning about it? Well, first and foremost, uh, if you're vaccinated, you should have good protection against this variant of SARS-CoV-2. Uh, some studies from England and ongoing studies from other countries are showing that. Um, now, if you're unvaccinated, the story is very different. Uh, this virus seems to be spreading much faster than even the alpha variant, which was our big concern during the winter months here in the U.S. Um, and it's showing signs of having more significant disease in younger age populations. So both of those things are a concern for us. It'll probably be the dominant virus lineage here in the U.S. within a couple of weeks. And that sets us up in the future, and, and, meaning, meaning in the fall, uh, for a pretty dangerous variant to be around when we think that uh, we'll see surges because people will be moving back inside again. Dr. Pekosh, from a public health perspective, does the uh, prevalence of the Delta variant, given that it is more virulent, given that it is causing potentially a harsher disease, does it actually edify this idea of perhaps mandating vaccines or being a little more aggressive with requiring a greater proportion of the population to get inoculated? One of the things that we've seen with these vaccines, and particularly the mRNA-based vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer, are that they've really been resilient. They've taken variants and they've shown to maintain high levels of protection against them. Uh, the safety signatures from the mRNA vaccines have been excellent. So that is one reason to really say, yes, we need to move these vaccines into a wider swath of the population. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a bit confusing to me as to why we're seeing the level of hesitancy that we're seeing about these vaccines, giving all the good news that we're seeing about it. But certainly something like the Delta variant is more uh, urgency to the vaccination. And not to be pessimistic, but we've seen multiple variants, and I'm sure we'll see more coming through. So the vaccines so far have shown resilience, and they should really be pushed to as much of the population, particularly before the fall, as possible. Yeah, Angela Merkel, just to give you a sense, from Germany saying that the Delta variant uh, means that we can't say the pandemic end is coming. The idea that this is actually delaying uh, when they can project for things to get back to normal. As you were saying, though, Dr. Pekosh, Dr. Uh, President Biden is saying that he is falling short of the 70 percent goal, getting all Americans inoculated with at least one uh, shot by the July 4th holiday. We are not there yet. We're at about 65 percent, 66 percent. How much do the recent studies about mRNA vaccines and potential heart issues in more than a thousand uh, Americans, how much is that hampering the PR behind getting uh, some of these vaccines out to the public? Well, this is where communication becomes incredibly important. Um, we've heard a lot about most recently, the cardiomyitis, um, in, particularly in young males. We have to remember, though, that those are incredibly small numbers, given the number of vaccinations that have been given out. And it's also a reminder that we actually see cardiomyitis, particularly in males, um, every year. Um, we just don't look for it as carefully as we do now that we've got these vaccine uh, trials going out there on we're monitoring for, for vaccine safety. So I think that message has to be tempered in that Safety is being monitored. We're paying attention to any kind of signatures that might come up of adverse effects or, or bad side effects. And what we're not seeing is a major surge in these adverse effects. So again, the virus or the vaccine is behaving quite well in populations. Uh, the monitoring is finding very low level effects. So we're doing our job in terms of the public health uh, community in terms of monitoring for safety and showing that these vaccines are safe.